sporting a brand new fresh custom Oilers jersey. Yes, yeah, Brandon go. Moreno. It's good to have you here. I, this is our first fight night in Canada in over five years, and you get the headline. You haven't been to Canada before, so tell me about what your experience is so far in this country. Man, I mean, I like the environment, you know? I like the, the, the picture of Edmonton. I arrived last night, like 1 a.m., so cold, to be honest. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. You know, the, the environment, the city feels very cool. My first time here in, in, in Canada, in Edmonton especially, and nothing. I'm just excited. Of course, this is a great main event. Yourself, Amir Al-Bazi, five-round fight. This is a championship-caliber fight, two of the top flyweights in the world. Amir has been out for a while. Is it hard to train for somebody knowing that they've learned all of these new skills in the time that they've been away and not really knowing exactly what they're going to bring to the table? I mean, I know, I know what Amir brings to the table right now. You know, he's in a, an amazing fighter. He's very motivated. He's ready uh, to fight for the title. You know, he, I know he knows if he beat me, he's going to be in the title conversation in his next one. So with that being said, like, man, so I think he's, he's crazy because he's been out more than me. But I decided to take a little break and, and rest a little bit of competition to don't think about my next fight, my next opponent or the, the, my responsibilities or whatever. I've been like two or three years like, on the ground, you know, like working so hard to build my legacy. But at some point that exploded in my mind. Like I was like a little bit tired, you know. Um, but that's great. That's that's fine because right now I feel much better. You know, all that time, I, uh, a few months out of competition, spending time with my family, with my daughters, with my friends, doing my putting more more attention in my hobbies in 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 my own feelings what's very cool and right now I feel very motivated to to get the title again well let's unpack that a little bit because you talk about taking time to yourself and working on you know your mentality and not worrying about who you're going to be fighting next you work so hard to become a champion in the UFC and spend all this time but there's burnout involved when becoming a champion. All the obligations, you always got to worry about the next best guy is going to be facing you. You're not going to ever have easy opponents again, and you probably won't for the rest of your career anyways. <laughs> but, but tell me about the pressures of that and what your expectations of being a champion were versus the reality of it and maybe some of the things that you weren't necessarily prepared for mentally of being a champion or things that were harder than you thought they would be. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just the responsibility to be a champion, right? Because the, the, the people say like, oh, he, he he got the title and that's it. But no, man, a lot of different works come from that. Like like the media responsibility, the troubles. Now, not just because for training, but I mean, because you have to go and do this media tour in, in, in Mexico, in your country, or you have to do this interview in some city like all that responsibility I think is is, is hard with the pass of the time and like we say bef- like we said before it, I, it's been like two three years on the grind like working hard like always like doing this the extra effort to keep growing my legacy and in some point it was like hard to me to keep that ri- that rhythm you know that that pace of my life um, and that's it I think the break point was my last fight. I, I don't want to put like any excuse at all. I think Brandon Royal deserves all the success he's getting right now. Uh, but just my my mind wasn't there in that fight, you know. Like my mind, my my body was there. My body was there uh, uh, throwing and, and getting punches, but my mind wasn't there. So I don't know if that. I think that was a break point, and that was the moment when I decided, like, you know what? Like just a few months, just a few months out of competition. Don't think because I was saying this before, like. I don't know. You, f- your next fight is gonna be in five months, but you already know you're gonna have a fight in five months, and you already know about your opponent, and that, even when you don't want to, like it's in your mind. You know, you're you're thinking in your next fight. You're, you know, that is extra stress is 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 hard to lead. So you know, our competition a little bit, enjoy with my family, enjoy with my hobbies, and enjoy uh, with myself. Was very cool. And it's funny, you actually have a lot of commonalities with Rose Namajunas in the co-main event. You, both young champions for a time, both two-time champions of the UFC, which is very hard to accomplish. When she was a champion the first time, she did not feel like she was prepared mentally for or, or knew how to prepare for I becoming understand. a champion, right? So it's something you, you can really relate to. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny because... I remember the first time I the UFC put me in the in in a in a high spot, you know, when I fought against Sergio Pettis in in Mexico City in 2017. Was my the first time when I really, uh, when I really taste the the 
the the flavor of of the main stage, you know, the, the all the interviews, the responsibilities, you know, the be the main event in your country with the UFC. So that was kind of hard. But then, I mean, you can't com even compare that with with the title, you know, to get the title and represent all your country, represent all your people was hard. But at the same at the same time, you you talk about all the, the the hard part, but I mean, all those sacrifices pay off, right? Like now, Brandon Moreno, he has an amazing legacy and everything. But it's it's always like try to keep a balance. Sometimes it's hard. Absolutely, and we talk about Amir Albazi. This is somebody you've trained with before, so you've yes. felt him. Does that help you going into a fight? Kind of, you know, kind of, but. Uh, I have to be ready for the new version of, of Amir Albasi. You know, we trained together like two years ago. Uh, he was he was coming to Las Vegas to live, and he wasn't like he hasn't like uh, a team. Him and, and the Bachelorette brothers. So they asked me like, "Hey, it's fine if if we train uh, with you with your group." In that moment, I had a a, a nice group training at the PI. And they asked, "Hey, we don't, we don't have a team right now. We don't have we don't have a, a, any place uh, for training. So if I, I say yes, yeah, let's go, let's go and training. In that moment, Amir, he was out of the top ten, like or out of the fifteen. I don't remember well, but yeah, uh, we say yes, and we 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 train and we share the 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 mats a little bit together. And that's it, man. You know, obviously you can have a little idea about what what can expect ab about your opponent when you join in that in that situation, but." Man, two years. He's been he's been uh, um, developing his uh, skills in the last two years. Uh, very very good. So I'm I'm just expecting the best Amir Alvasi, man. I I know he's strong. That that can help. You know, I know he's a strong fighter. I know he has really good technique, good jiu jitsu. Um, but I'm ready, man. And guess who he trained with for this uh, this fight? Henry Zahudo. No he, way. Henry Zahudo is just obsessed with you. He, he, really? He's trying to help everybody beat I Brandon was, Moreno. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> man. He's probably the biggest rival you have, and you've never fought the I guy. Know, you used to train that's, with that's him, crazy, and you're man. in different weight classes. Biggest biggest <laughs> fan of my life. Man, I don't know. Man. I don't know what can I say. I, mean, I don't have like any comment like, it is what it is, I think. So, no, you know, you have to pass the page. You have to learn to pass the page. Yeah, but I think what's your record against guys that have trained with with uh, Suhudo? Anyways, you've got a winning oh, record man, against him. Oh man, I think one and one, one or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Man. Or I think I I have O and one because when Davison went uh, to Arizona to train with him, he beat me, and mm -hmm. then the next one he decided to do the training camp. Yeah, went to Brazil. Brazil yeah. Did. So I I don't remember. <laughs> so good for him. Good, good, good. Yeah. Well, I don't think Henry necessarily has the recipe. I just I always I always <laughs> like bringing up to you. I always get a good reaction out of you when I bring up Henry. That was funny. <laughs> Well, we always love speaking with Brandon Moreno. We're humbled to have you main eventing this event in our country, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it here while you're here. Thank you, man. Thank you, and I, and I hope all the, the Canadian people enjoy the, the fight. I know it's going to be fireworks, and I'm excited to share the octagon with Amir and show my, my job to, to all the people here in Canada.